At long last, it's Friday, March 10th, and gamers have been waiting, and waiting, for the new start to the Mass Effect video game franchise after BioWare initially closed it out in 2012. Now, some new trailers and gameplay peaks at Mass Effect Andromeda are getting players stoked for the planned March 21st release date. In a nutshell, Andromeda focuses on the hunt for a new home for humanity, headed up by a brother and sister team of exploring Pathfinders. You have to interact with alien species who are also on the hunt for worlds and resources, and that can range from friendly chat sessions to all-out warfare, of course. Gameplay footage looks gorgeous, and the game features an expansive setting in a crowded star system you can cruise around in. Neither Commander Shepard nor the Reapers make a return to action in Andromeda, so it's pretty much a fresh start. We got some seat time playing the game ahead of its release, so check out our first impressions and the latest trailers at the link. Haven't found that perfect wearable yet? Neither has DT's irascible tech critic Andy Boxall, but he did find a wide-ranging selection of just plain weirdness at the London Wearable Tech event, and none weirder than this fine-looking apparatus called the Hushmi. Yes, it's pretty much what you think it is, a device to keep your phone conversations private in close quarters. Mom calling? No need to whisper into the phone, just make like Bane and talk away while the muzzle and masking sounds keep your conversation about the latest family drama on the down low. Earbuds route sound to your ears, and Hushmi uses passive voice suppression and active voice masking technology to give you a virtual cone of silence. And that voice masking? Choose from nine different masks, including wind, rain, ocean, monkey, and more, including apropos options like Darth Vader, R2-D2, and Minion. In their video, Hushmi asks if you've ever been uncomfortable talking on the phone in public places. Well, sure, but not as uncomfortable as wearing a Hushmi might make us. Still, it's pretty cool tech, and we've got more information at the link, along with some other oddities Andy found while wandering the back hallways of the event. Good show, Andy. Hey, it's Friday, and talk about big movie openings. That certainly applies to Kong Skull Island, which opens today and is the latest reboot of King Kong, the original movie monster that dates back to 1933. This time around, Kong lives on a fun-filled island populated by tentacle-tongued baddies, really big water buffaloes, and a demure human race that worships the big guy. Oh, and John C. Riley lives in the wreckage of his crashed World War II bomber. But hey, the year is 1973, and that Loki guy has a slick new haircut. He's off to explore the Forbidden Island with Brie Larson, John Goodman, Sam Jackson, and a lot of Vietnam-era weaponry. What could go wrong? Everything, of course, and that's part of the fun of this latest Kong episode, which provides action, drama, and comedy in a solid outing by director Jordan Vote Roberts, who is currently helming the Metal Gear Solid movie, but also directed some Funnier Die episodes a few years back. Check out Rick Marshall's full review at the link, and remember to get butter on your popcorn. Also, tune in to our live entertainment podcast between the streams at 2 p.m. Pacific today, where we'll be talking about Kong and all the other big movie releases coming out this weekend. That's it for DT Daily today. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube YouTube channel. We'll be back again on Monday.